Hello everyone. Let's take a look at how to use Ranarec Studio to create an automated test for a Delphi application built with Rad Studio. To download Ranarec Studio, open a browser and go to ranarex.com slash free dash trial. On the free trial page, complete the required fields. After the form is complete, click download now. Check your email for a message from Ranarex. Open the email and click the Download Ranarex button. Run the Ranarex Studio Setup executable file and follow the instructions in the Installation Wizard. After the installation completes, click Finish. The Ranarex Studio Evaluation screen appears. Click Start Free Trial. Ranarex Studio opens and the Rocket Start New Solution Wizard appears to walk you through the process of creating a test automation solution perfectly aligned to your needs. Switch to RAD Studio and start the application under test. This allows Ranarex Studio to identify the app and generate commands to start and close it automatically during test execution. Now return to Ranarex Studio. The wizard configures the technology that you wish to test, desktop, web, or mobile, or you can choose blank to create a new solution manually. Choose Desktop. Give the solution a name. Let's call it First Test. Click Continue. Now, the wizard prompts you to select your application under Test. Choose the Delphi app from the list of running applications. Click Continue. The Recording Behavior dialog appears with three options. Focus on Single Application whitelists the application under test so that Ranarex Studio ignores all other applications during test recording and test runs. This makes recording easier and helps your tests run faster. Focus on Multiple Applications allows you to select other applications to whitelist in addition to the already selected Delphi app. No Focus Applied allows Ranarex Studio to interact with any running processes. For now, let's choose Focus on Single Application to whitelist the application under test. You can change this later if desired. Click Continue. The next screen of the wizard explains what will happen when you click Finish. Your new solution will open and the First Steps tutorial will appear. Click Finish. Now the Ranarex Studio user interface appears with your new solution. On the left, you see the Projects view. The top item in the hierarchy is the solution. This solution contains one project and all of the libraries and files required to execute that project. Below the Projects view, you see the Ranarex Module Browser. A module is a small unit of code that executes one or more test steps. You can combine modules to create sophisticated, automated test cases. There are two types of modules. Recording modules, which are created by the Ranarex recorder during a capture and replay session, and code modules, which are created by test automation personnel. Right now, the module browser contains three modules. One to close the application under test, one to open it, and a single empty recording. In the center of the screen is the File view. When you double-click on an item in the Projects window or the Module Browser, the associated file opens here. Double-click on the Recording 1 module to open it in the File view. Click Record. Ranarex Studio minimizes automatically and the Ranarex Recorder controls appear. Move your mouse over the user interface elements in the application under Test. Notice the red box, which appears as the Ranarex Spy tool automatically identifies UI elements. Perform a workflow you want to test. Notice that your actions appear instantly in the recording history. Here, you can hover over the eye to see the screenshot for an action or click the trash can to delete an action. It's also possible to add some types of action manually. Now, Let's add a validation to check that your workflow works properly. To add a validation, click Validate. Highlight the element to validate. 
Look for the purple frame, indicating that the UI element has been identified, then click it. The Select Element window opens. Verify that the screenshot shows the correct element to validate, then click Next. In the Validation Settings window, select which attributes to validate. Click OK to confirm and return to Recording Mode. Now, press the Stop button to stop recording. Finally, close the application under Test. Your recorded test steps appear in the Action Editor. Here, you can manually add new actions, such as a mouse click or a key sequence, edit existing actions, reorder actions, and delete them. Below the Action Editor, you will see the repository items for the UI elements that Ranarex Studio identified while the test was being recorded. The name of each item comes from its properties. The Ranarex path uniquely identifies each UI item within the application under test. You can edit repository items in several ways. For example, you can manually add new items, you can change the names of existing items to make them more meaningful, and you can use the Edit in Spy function to change the path to the item. You can also delete repository items that aren't being used in an automated test. In the Action table, you see the repository item associated with each recorded action. Notice that when you click on an action, the associated repository item is highlighted automatically. You can also use repository items in code. To do so, create a new user code module by clicking the corresponding button in the menu. Then, simply drag and drop the repository item in the code editor and use it directly there. Refer to the Ranarex Studio user guide to learn more about code modules. Open the first test, Test Suite, in the File view, and you will see that there is one test case, with a Setup and a Teardown section. The Start AUT and Close AUT modules have been added to these sections for you. You can add the code module by simply dragging it from the Module Browser view to the test case where you want to execute it. Click the Run button to run the entire test suite. The test run report appears in the file view. Click the arrows next to the test case and the recording module for more details about the test runs, such as the results of the validation step. In addition to running a test suite from within Ranarex Studio, you can run test suites from the command line, for example if you wish to launch test automation in your continuous integration pipeline. For more information, refer to the Ranarex Studio user guide. This test run was successful. To learn more about automating tests with Ranarex Studio, visit the Resources section of the Ranarex website, where you will find informative articles about software testing, white papers, and screencasts for all levels of Ranarex users, from beginner to advanced. Or, visit our webinars page and register for one of our free webinars, available live and on demand.